So back in the 1800s, Westminster was the first community in the United States to get rural free delivery postal service, which obviously was a transformative thing in our country is having postal service come to every location in the country and Westminster was the first place to have that. So we're kind of, history's repeating itself here. Economic development, educational opportunity, transportation, everything. We are going to see over the course of uh, the next few years, everything that's important to people being done over advanced networks. And I think this is an extremely exciting period. When you think about a community like Ammon, Idaho, that's working with the U.S. government on some disaster relief efforts, Little Ammon, Idaho wouldn't typically be seen as somewhere that could attract those kind of jobs, but because they got a gig, they got the jobs. Up until a couple months ago, the definition of broadband that the FCC said was four megabits down and one up. And the chairman looked at that and said, that's absurd. And we changed the standard a couple months ago to 25 megabits per second down and three up. That's still not enough. We want 50, we want 100. But the fact of the matter is, is that we were making a statement that you need to have more. There needs to be bigger and better broadband so you can do the things that people expect to do. Today. And I think, you know, as it rolls out and people get used to it and they start using more and more things and they start seeing more and more ways that a gigabit changes their lives, that'll spread very quickly, you know, and it'll drive even more demand. And you realize that that's where the jobs are going, where the internet speeds are fast, affordable, and reliable.